The Maryland Terrapins coming off a six and seven season that ended in the quick lane bowl, a six point loss to Boston College. Did not finish strong last year. Winners of just two of their last nine games. As we welcome you back to College Park, Dave Revs and Jerry DiNardo and Howard Griffith. Chance to break this team down a little bit after watching them in practice. You know, offense last year, this was an explosive team. The issue to me was consistency, was being good, kind of series in and series out. What did you see as you watched this team offensively? And obviously the biggest question is the quarterback spot. I think the improvement of the offensive line gives them a chance maybe to address that consistency. They really should be better up front. I think their skill on the perimeter or skill in the backfield is pretty impressive. It, it, it's, it's hard when you're trying to pick a starting quarterback in camp. It, it sets you back a little bit. There's no way around it. You have to do what, they, what they're doing. You're rotating all through, the quarterbacks all through it. But no reason they shouldn't be better. They have better players. They just have to settle a quarterback position. Yeah, I think the interesting thing when you talk about a quarterback battle is the fact that all of these guys are getting reps with the ones, the right. twos, and the threes. So they're all being put in different situations with a different group of guys, and they're going to see different things. So I think at the end of the day, it's got to come down to the person that's going to be able to take care of the football and not turn it over, because I don't think they can afford to do that yeah. at all. And, and they're, they, they'll be explosive against, you know, a lot of matchup teams. What, what stops explosion is if the other team is faster than you. Then their defense is more explosive than your offense. So they'll be outmatched in some games, but they'll be faster and half the teams they play as well. And you saw that in the teams that you may consider a notch above them. That's when they right. started to struggle yeah. or they got right. behind in games because they weren't able to necessarily throw it and be accurate. Now, look, last year, 36 points per game against the six FBS teams they played with non-winning records, yeah. about 11 points per game against the teams they played with winning records. So yeah. that is a significant gap, no doubt about it. Let's get into the personnel a little bit with the quarterbacks. I'm not going to ask you guys to pick a QB, but to me, one guy whose skill set clearly stands out is Kasim Hill, who happens to be a true freshman. And yeah. to me, that becomes a real challenge then. I mean, you talk about taking care of the football, not making mistakes, not putting yourself in a bad spot. Those are the things that kind of are part and parcel with playing a freshman. But, man, he's talented. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to be a really good quarterback at some point in this conference. Yeah, and I thought we'd end up heading in this dis discussion this way. And when you watch Hill, when you watch him work with the first group, he's calm, collective, drops back in the pocket, and makes his read. So when you go to the third group, though, that's when things may get a little different up front because they're not as deep on the offensive line. But he's still calm. He attacks the pocket, steps up, eyes are still downfield. He really makes good decisions, and he puts a great touch on the ball down the field. And he is so athletic. It's going to be interesting to just watch his development moving forward. Uh, it's clear this is still a wide open race. And I focused on Hill just because I thought he yeah. was really good. But Terrell Pigram, I thought, had a really nice day. I mean, we saw flashes from all of these guys. Hey, I, I've had a quarterback competition. I evaluate them all during spring, all during camp, and made the wrong decisions. I'm not going to do it based on today's practice. Right. But they'll they'll find a quarterback out of that group. I think that's, that is a fact. That th there's some good quarterbacks here. And it'll shake out. Yeah, Borton Slager was an, another guy that really made a lot of plays, was real comfortable in the pocket. It's going to come down to really these scrimmages and what happens in the scrimmage and who's able to move the football team and take care of the football. It's all going to come right back to that. Let's focus a little bit on the defense. Run defense was a particular issue last year. I mean, nine of their 13 opponents went over 180 yards rushing. So the point of attack, a concern to say the least. Do you see strides there defensively? Yeah, I, I think the strides jump out because up front is, is how you address the issue that you just brought up as far as run defense, especially against the best opponents. And again, I you know, we, we talked to Coach Boo about this. He's got to rep against some teams that don't run the spread. So to, And he's doing that during camp, and a lot of coaches on the defensive side have to do that that go against spread teams. But their personnel are, are significantly improved, especially up front from a year ago. Yeah, you talk about those, the defensive line. Linemen. They're going to continue to get better. Still aren't, at least the starters still aren't as big and physical as you might want. That may wear, but they have a lot of guys that they're going to be able to roll through. That's significant to be able to have that depth. You talk about Carter at the linebacker position. I love the way he attacks the line of scrimmage 
downhill, really makes good plays, but that's what a veteran guy brings to the to the table when you talk about a defense. You know, their defensive line talent and, and their offensive line, I know we're talking about defense, but not only are they, are they more talented, they, they've got a lot of players, and it allows them to practice. I mean, their scout team, meaning the team that's simulating their weekly opponent, they're going to be a good scout team, and, and sometimes that that is one of the most important things you can do to get ready for a game. They've got a lot of big guys on this team.